Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install CodeBlocks IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So CodeBlocks is one of the most popular IDEs for developing C or C++ programs. So let's see how we can install it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for CodeBlocks and the first link which will appear here will be from codeblocks.org. So we are going to click on this link. And if you are not uh, directly redirected to the CodeBlocks downloads uh, page, you can click on the downloads link on the left hand side and you will reach to this uh, web page. Now in here you need to click on the download the binary release link and then on the next page you can scroll down where you will see the Microsoft Windows section and we want to install code blocks with MinGW compiler. So we are going to select this link which says code blocks and the version at the time of making this video the latest version is 20.03 and which also includes the name MinGW setup, right? So what it's going to do is it's going to uh, install the code blocks with MinGW. MinGW is a compiler which will help you to compile and run your C or C++ programs. That's why we want to install code blocks with MinGW. So you can select any uh, link in front of uh, this MinGW setup. I'm going to select the sourceforge.net link, which is going to start the download of this exe file. So just wait for uh, this download to complete. So once this executable file is downloaded, we are going to click on this executable file and I'm going to minimize the browser. And first of all, you will see this warning which says, do you want to allow this app from unknown publisher to make changes on your device? I trust this app, so I'm going to click on yes here. And it's going to start the installation of code blocks on your Windows operating system. So on the first window, you just need to click on the next button and here you will see the license terms and conditions. So if you agree with the license terms and conditions, click on I agree. And then code blocks is going to uh, install all these things on your Windows operating system. So just leave everything as default and then click on next. And this will be the location where code blocks will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next, which is going to start the installation process. So at this point, you just need to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. So I'm going to wait for that. And now at the end, code blocks is going to ask you, do you want to uh, run code blocks now? I'm going to click on yes here which is going to complete the installation process. You can see the installation process has been completed. So I'm going to click on next here and then I'm going to click on finish. And because we have uh, just clicked that button, which is going to launch this code blocks. And also you will be able to see uh, this window, which says GNU GCC compiler detected. So because we have downloaded the code blocks with MinGW setup, that's why you can see the compiler is GCC compiler and the status here is detected. You can click on OK here and now you can see that code blocks IDE has been launched and you might also see this warning which says code blocks is currently not the default application for C and C++ source files. If you want to create the associations, you can uh, click on these radio buttons, but for now, I'm going to leave it as default and then click on OK. And first of all, you can also see that this code blocks shortcut icon is also created on my desktop. So now let's create a very simple C++ program on our code blocks IDE and let's see whether it's working or not. So to create a new project, click on file, then new and then click on project. And from here, you can choose different kind of projects. So we want to create a console application. So I'm going to click on console application and then click on OK. And then I'm going to click on next here. And then here we can choose the language C or C++. I'm going to choose C++ and then click on next. And then you can provide the project uh, name. So I'm going to name my project as hello world here. And you can choose the folder where you want to save your project. So I'm going to save my project on my documents folder 
and also you will be able to see the resulting uh, file name here which will be inside uh, the folder which you have selected here I'm going to click on next here and then uh, you can select the compiler from this list and in our case we need to choose a GNU GCC compiler which was automatically detected and then click on finish and it's going to create a very simple program for us so you can see uh, there is a source folder and inside the source folder we have this main.cpp file and there is this very simple hello world C++ program here. So in order to run this program, first of all, you need to compile that or build this program. And to build this program, you can click on this build icon here. So when you click on the build icon, your program will be built. And if the build is successful, you can see zero errors here then you can run it so you can click on this run button in order to run this program and you can see it runs this program and prints hello world which was the output which we want to print in this console application so everything is working fine and from now on you can start using code blocks for building your c or c programs so in this way, you can download and install code blocks on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.